Okay, now we're going to start People and Emotion Unit, Unit 2. First thing's nice and easy. Just fill your page with drawings of people in your house. Sketch them out. Try and get a bit of detail on there and a bit of tone. They don't have to be masterpieces, they just have to get you drawing, and seeing things and observing. Draw the eyes in detail. Remember to try and draw them, not what you think an eye looks like. And now we're going to move on to continuous line drawing. With this, the important thing is the continuous movement of the pen. Place your nib on the paper and then just draw, making sure you every now and then you stop to observe what you're drawing. In this case, your face. It's just about drawing and getting as much detail on it as possible. I am doing a very quick sketch here. You can afford to take time. But don't worry, have a few practice runs first to make sure that you've got the idea. Keep it drawing, keep it moving, and observing all the time. Okay, this time we're feeling, or in this case, emotions. Take a photograph or look in the mirror and pull the most extreme emotional face you can. And then do a continuous line drawing of it. I'd like it to take a little bit more time than I have, but you can see the idea. Bored. Sad and let's see what comes out when you draw them using continuous line. Once you've finished that though, I'd like you to move on and try and make a bit more effort. Look at yourself in the mirror, observe yourself, and draw and add shading. Do the best drawing you can of yourself. You're the best model you can possibly have, because you're always there, as long as you've got a mirror or a phone. Remember, with all these drawings, annotate them so that the viewer knows what you were thinking while you drew them. And good luck.